take this as your sign if there's something that you want. The other two held tight really good. This outfit screams Sarah. This is so me. You can just do polka dots. <laughs> do a whole little drawing. Had to do a fish. I Michelle and I was like, do you want to split? Yes. <laughs> this is not my favorite. Cheers. Hey guys, welcome to today's vlog. Mm. I'm turning this into a salted caramel iced coffee was seriously the best idea. It's so good. It is currently Friday and I'm in the middle of my work day, but I like I need to take a break. I've just been like so go, go, go all day. Actually, it's been like that the last like week or so. I'm hoping that a lot of stuff clears up today and I can have more relaxed work days back but I'm kind of in between meetings right now my next one's kind of a big one and unfortunately it got scheduled right in the middle of when the block of Pilates classes I take are I'm a creature of habit so I like to take from specific teachers and then also at pretty consistent times I usually like to take either the one or two o'clock class I might take the 12 o'clock and then on Saturdays I take the 11 o'clock because that's a jump class but yeah I got scheduled for a meeting right at two o'clock so that meant I couldn't take the one o'clock class because I wouldn't be back in time and then obviously I can't take the two o'clock so that's kind of actually messed up my schedule a little bit for tomorrow because it's the end of my cycle I don't want to lose out on my last class credit I don't want to waste that money so tomorrow Michelle and I are shooting and then also doing a little fun friendship date activity but I had to ask her if we could start a little bit later so that I could take Pilates before we shoot and then like have enough time to get ready and everything today and tomorrow are just like so crammed like I'm very excited for tomorrow I definitely need it it's been just one of those weeks you know not necessarily that anything's like gone bad there's just like a lot going on and i'm just so ready to like have a relaxed shoot day hang out and then also michelle and i like i said we're doing a little friendship date activity and we're actually gonna paint pottery color me mine style but we're not going to color me mine i think it was about a year ago we were shooting and testing and we realized one of the buildings that we usually park near that's been empty for a long time reopened as a little cute like artsy pottery studio and you can go in and like paint pottery so we're gonna do that tomorrow i'm very excited for it i think i'm gonna paint a mug because I want more mugs for tea but yeah that should be a lot of fun I just hate that I had to like push it later because I was trying to get to Pilates because there's no way I'm gonna get to it today and then also too I really should go grocery shopping we are wildly out of things I'm literally scraping at the bottom of the barrel right now as far as like groceries go I barely even had the stuff I needed to make my breakfast this is the last of my tomato and turkey that I have so I definitely need to make a grocery run today Okay, so just got back from grocery shopping. I like had to get out of here. My adrenaline was just like coursing after my meeting. So I was like, okay, gonna go grocery shopping. I got a few new things from Trader Joe's. I didn't do a haul just because I, like, I always do Trader Joe's haul. But if I have any of the items in this vlog, I'll definitely let you know. I'm just having a water really quick because I'm so hot. I got off of that meeting and I was just like jittery. So I needed to like go do something. And it was a good meeting. The adrenaline was not necessarily like because of a bad thing. I just kind of had to like advocate for myself a little bit so that I could get what I wanted. So I'm still like coming down from that a little bit. I had to get some of that energy out afterwards. Things are not fully decided on, but I can say whichever decision they make for when I pushed back, I'm still happy either way. So take this as your sign if there's something that you want. Don't be afraid to know your worth and argue your worth and ask for it because if you don't ask, it's always gonna be a no. So waiting to hear back on that. But like I said, even if the additional that I'm arguing for doesn't happen right now, I'm still very happy with what was offered to me initially. So good news all around, very excited. I've been waiting for this meeting for like two months. I've been stressed for the last two months and I'm just so glad that it's over, which I know I'm still waiting on a decision. But like I said, either way the decision goes, I'm actually 
pretty happy. So no more stressing, I can breathe now. But I'm just finishing up some other things for work and then I'm actually gonna have a night in. I bought myself the pesto pizza. I don't know if I'm gonna have that again. I bought it as like a little celebration thing. I'm not fully celebrating my work development quite yet. I wanna wait till everything's squared away, but like a little mini celebration, I might have my pizza unless Trevor wants to go get food tonight or something. But I definitely still need to like shower and then also prep and pack for the shoot tomorrow because since I'm taking Pilates in the morning, I wanna be like packed so that all I have to do when I get back here is walk Leo and shower and get ready and then head straight out the door because we're already gonna be starting later than normal. So I wanna prep tonight as much as possible to make sure that I don't hold this up tomorrow anymore with shooting because we wanna have as much time as possible to paint pottery. Okay guys, so it is much later. I already styled and packed my outfits for tomorrow. Although technically I'm not shooting tomorrow at this point anymore, I'm shooting today. But if you guys remember, I think it was the last vlog, if not the vlog before, I had that TikTok shop order and I got these overnight rollers in it and I promised you guys we would test them out so that's what we're gonna do today. So there's three of these guys. These are like these thick rollers but they're like bendable and stuff. There's like a wire in them so that they stay. And truthfully, this is gonna be kind of like a funky experiment because I'm going to Pilates tomorrow morning. Basically, I'm gonna take these out and then I need to put my hair up for Pilates. But I think that that kind of works because if I take these rollers out in the morning and I decide that I don't really like the style, then I can like do something different with my hair after Pilates. But if I do like it, then what I'll do to like reset the style after Pilates is I'll put these back in for like when I shower and clean up and do my makeup in case the style falls a bit when I have it back for Pilates. So that is the general plan, but I just put oil in my hair and let's go ahead and start rolling these. So basically I'm supposed to divide my hair up into three sections. So like one, two, and three, and then roll my hair in them. So let's start with the first section. I'm just going to grab like that. Still keep brushing it through. I want to make sure to get out as many knots and stuff as possible. And then you want to roll forward with these. Bring my hair. Down, and then bend it forward and clip. I can't see the clip. That doesn't feel like super tight or anything. I thought that it would be like way tighter. Is this just a user error? I almost feel like going back is going to be better. Yeah, that is way better if I bend it backwards. So I'm going to do that. It feels so much more secure. Gathering up the second section. Probably grab a little bit more hair than that. There we go. Brushing out all of the knots. So here it is for anyone wondering. Just gathered up another third horizontally. Take another roller. I'm gonna pull it up just so I can roll. And then taking the ends, manually rolled it through the center and then rolling it down and then clip. Perfect, okay, for section number two. And then brush out the remaining hair. Also, the reason why I'm doing this, like I had mentioned, was to find like an overnight hairstyle to wear on the plane for when we go to Europe. I don't know in what world this is less embarrassing to wear in public than my unicorn curls, but for some reason, the logic in my head when I originally ordered this was like, oh, this will be better to wear on the plane than just like the single rod down the center of my head. We are all set and we're in. We will see how this works. Also, I'm a little nervous about sleeping in these. I mean, they're like nice and soft. They are firm enough that they're like holding. Actually, they're holding surprisingly well, but like laying on my back because I'm a back sleeper. I don't know. We will see how this goes. So I'm going to go ahead and go to sleep, let these set for a couple of hours, and I'll see you guys then, which will be in like the next 10 seconds for you guys. Good morning, you guys. I'm just doing some quick skincare here. Since I still need to like shower when I get back and stuff, I'm not trying to like do anything too crazy right now. Just some sunscreen. And then I just don't want to look dead, so I'll do a little bit of my Replenix. Actually, I think I need to open up a new one. This thing was like, whoop, yeah. It's like spinning out like barely anything right now, but I just need a <laughs> just need a little bit right now. Just enough so that I don't look so exhausted. Also, too, this happened a few days ago. I'm really, really upset about this. And I don't have an appointment for like two weeks because it's aligned with our friend's wedding. And actually my nail girl is opening up her own place. She's going independent, very proud of her. So she's still setting up. So I couldn't get in right now if I wanted to. So we're just, we're gonna live with this. I feel like though, since it's on the ring finger, it's a little bit less noticeable, you know? But anyways, okay, we are gonna pull these out. A couple observations about sleeping on them. Sleeping on your side is 
so easy with these obviously because they're down the middle of your head but because I fall asleep on my back because I'm usually watching TV and then at some point I tend to roll over to my side or I might stay on my back these actually were not that uncomfortable to lay on on my back and then also what was kind of nice about them when I was on my back is they kind of like elevated my head a little bit so that I could have a better angle on the TV so I guess kind of a win-win the only concern though for the plane is that I don't really recline my seat if I do it's just like a little bit like an inch or something but you know how like the headrest comes forward a little bit so I'm like if I'm wearing these am I just gonna be like this the whole time like that's gonna suck so I don't know but anyways let's go ahead and take these out very curious they also held up pretty well throughout the night you guys can see this one like kind of got a little wonky but otherwise the other two held tight really good and then if I like this style like I said I'm gonna put my hair back into these after Pilates while I'm getting ready to reset the style because I do need to put my hair up for Pilates oh okay and I don't think I like noted this should be more of like a blowout kind of a look. It's not gonna be like full curls like the unicorn curls. This one's more of like a faux blowout. Then unraveling number two. Okay, very nice. Okay, so this is gonna be the one that determines it. This is the money shot right here. If this piece goes wrong, then it's just not good. Okay, loosen her up a little bit. Wow, my hair is so soft because I, I washed it last night. I don't think I noted that, but I, I had just like freshly washed and dried it when I did this. I'm trying to fix it before I like fully react. Oh, that's cute. Okay, she's bouncy. She's lovely. Obviously, if I were to actually do a blowout, these pieces would probably be styled a little bit more correctly. But it's fine, like for an overnight, just like nice and quick. I love it. Look at all of this volume. I am going to keep this style for the shoot. This makes me so sad. I need to put it back now. Although, I'm going to leave it down until I get to Pilates. Like, let it set as much as possible. This bang is driving me crazy. I will admit that. Because, like, this one flips to, like, the correct angle. But this one just keeps sticking out. But whatever. But I do like this piece right here. Like, look at that swoosh. That's pretty. I need to grab a protein bar and then head to my workout. So, we'll see you guys afterwards. That inside me just finished getting ready. I put my hair back up in the rollers and I feel like the second time it actually turned out a little bit better. I feel like the back, like these under layers aren't getting quite as much bend and curl as the top layers do. Although, you know, like the top layers are what matters. But I think I'll just need to practice with that a little bit more. But I do like it. I like it a lot. I think for the plane, the unicorn curls method is definitely the way to go. Just because it'll be more comfortable since I'm sitting upright. And then also the curls are a lot more defined. But I will be bringing these rollers with me to Europe just because... We are like literally, I just saw the itinerary. We're go, go, go. We're almost in like a different city every day and a half. So definitely gonna bring this and then the rod from my unicorn curls because I'll probably have to do a lot of overnight hairstyling on that trip just to like save myself on time. But anyways, I am heading out of here just grabbing a couple of jewelry pieces and then Michelle and I are gonna go meet up and shoot before we go paint some pottery. Just got here, Michelle should be here any second, but figured let's do a little quick outfit check because this is probably like one of my favorite outfits ever. This outfit screams Sarah. This is so me. So the corset, kind of like this granny material floral corset but it's like young because it's a corset and I'm obsessed with this. I got from TikTok shop. I think I unboxed it in the last video but I am obsessed. If, in case you guys were wondering what it looks like on. Actually let me prop you guys up a little bit more. Here's what it looks like on. So cute and then look at this back. Oh obsessed. And then this is where I say this so a Sarah outfit like the corset with the baggy pants love it so these claim to be petite pants from princess polly i love these they're like a tie waist they're very comfortable i think i'm just like trying to style them a little bit like low slung but they are a little bit long they do toggle at the bottom so i can kind of keep it from drying on the floor but i have my new purse and then my adidas but yeah this outfit number one and in case you haven't noticed i am doing like spring vibes today i'm trying to shoot spring looks and stuff because i'm just so ready for spring i don't want to do winter anymore i'm over it michelle's here are we both doing spring looks today? You know what? I brought so many clothes. <laughs> like, I try to make sense of stuff in my head. And then I was like, we're going to wing it. We're going to wing it. We didn't even, like, coordinate this time on, like, how many outfits should we do? I honestly, I was like, I could do three. I could do seven. Because I brought so much clothes that I'm like, it's just so much. Okay, well, well, I brought four. Oh, my God, I'm still zoomed in. How do I zoom out? Much better. You guys aren't in my face. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited to paint. It'll it's be gonna really be nice so and relaxing. Hot. I know, I know. 
You guys, so we have the painting today and then the next shoot, Michelle and I are gonna treat ourselves. Very excited. So excited about like, that. We're gonna be fancy. We're gonna be so fancy. Yes, yeah, very, like these aren't just shoots. These are fun activities as well. Look how cute this is. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. They have so many things that are excited. Paint your own pottery. To, so we have to get here by six. Yeah, that's fine. Yay! I get lost in those hazy eyes. I'm in love with these lazy nights. So maybe we can stay back, stay back here and enjoy the ride. So last looks, we've just been speeding through these just because we spent a lot of time at Morning Lavender just chatting and then we looked at the time and we realized like, oh crap, that we shouldn't start shooting because the pottery painting is only until six. So we were like, oh, we gotta hurry. And then like, we literally have been moving so fast. We shot, this is fourth outfits, last outfits within an hour. Like we hustled. So I'm just transferring stuff to the purse for this look. Cause I don't think I'm gonna like come back and change. Um, oh no. Oh my God. The wind's also still a little heavy right now. So this camera does not have enough weight, but okay. Got my purse. Very, very casual. Just jeans and a t-shirt. Classic. Which is funny because Michelle had a very similar outfit to this on earlier. And I was like, oh, if I was shooting this outfit right now, we would be twinning. And then I just have sneakers on. <laughs> and yeah, last outfit. And then we are going to go painting. I actually really like that. Oh, that is cute. I actually really liked the leopard with this like white outfit. Hmm. Or do that denim top with this. I could do this. I could put my hair up. <laughs> There's so many options right now. Oh, that is cute. I really like this one, or I also really like what you had on originally. <laughs> Would you want to save one for LA? Do you feel like. That's like. I like the leopard, yeah. And then you could style that one for LA. Yeah, like I could do a denim top. Yeah. That would look so cute on Rodeo. Like a full denim look. I like it a lot. Okay, and then. Yeah. Where's my black? <laughs> you saw mine. You don't have to explain anything to me. I did not put a single piece of clothing back into the bag that I packed everything in. It's on the front seat and the back seat right now. It's. <laughs> It's a, it's a hot mess in my car. Mine's atrocious back there. <laughs> Luckily, I have big bags, so I can shove things in. Yeah. Well, at least your front seat looks decent. Mine's yeah. covered in clothes. Yeah. <laughs> I just want to chill under the northern lights with you. Michelle worked on hers. <laughs> it came out great, like <laughs> worth it, but oh my gosh. I know. As they make their pasta in house here, it all looks so good. Also, I turned to Michelle and I was like, Do you want to split? Yes. <laughs> I didn't even finish my second. Yes. So Michelle got the raspberry Italian soda. Mm. Is it good? Yeah. I got the blacker. You want to try it before I spike it? Yeah. Because I also got a shot of vodka to spike You know what? Might, you might need someone to sip it so you could. Yeah, I need room anyways. Very nice. Good? I will okay. say I like the raspberry better. Ah. I'll try mine. She said that raspberry it's and sweeter. blackberry were good, so Definitely we each got one now. I think you'll like both. Ooh, that's good. Yeah. Oh. I figured I'd still like it. Shit, that's fresh. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> that is <Shit>. fresh. <laughs> Oh, that's nice. I see what you mean, though. That is absolutely just, sweeter. Yeah. Look, I need room. It's been a week, you guys. <laughs> oh, no, I don't want to lose vodka. <laughs> yeah. You just lost $2. No! <laughs> oh, I totally my up. <sighs> I just took the rest of the shot. <laughs> I just hate shooting vodka. It oh, just really? feels... Yeah, I hate shooting vodka. Yeah. I'd rather shoot whiskey or tequila. Because shooting vodka feels like, it tastes like I'm shooting alcohol, like mm. rubbing alcohol. Oh, not like that. Like, I like vodka very drinks. Much is. I like vodka drinks, but not. Okay. Oh, that's nice. You can barely taste it. I Guys, I am so tired today. I woke up so freaking late. This is my first coffee of the day, and it's like five right now. Also, I had just wanted a tall, and she like made and charged me for a grande. I should have said something. I just like I wasn't thinking because I was so out of it. But yeah, I, I know I asked for a tall because this is the new lavender oat milk latte. And whenever I get one of these new drinks, I always get it in a tall because I don't know how I'm gonna feel about it. And I can tell you, this is not my favorite. It's not terrible, that's why I'm still drinking it. The initial taste of it is okay, but the like mid and after taste is just like way too florally. It's almost herby. So it's just throwing me off a lot. Yeah, I've definitely had much better lavender lattes in the past. Like there's a couple of coffee shops nearby that I order lavender lattes from and they do not taste like this. I don't know what syrup they're using in here, but it's just, it's not good. I just went to Target to grab a few things. I got these Johnny Pops. I was looking for the Yasso Popables, but I couldn't find them. So then I tried this out, but the chocolate with strawberry bars just as like a little dessert. Then I always really, really love these. The Balance Breaks from Sargento, specifically the cheese and Triscuit one. Such a good snack. And then we got foil because we've been out. I really need to replace the filter on our water tank. I'm probably going to do that right now. I got a dealer, right? And then just for a little serotonin boost, I got myself these socks. How cute is this? It says Easy Beezy adorable. Grab that because Leo always steals my socks. I never know where they go. So extra socks are needed with this dog, but I need to replace this filter. Also, Trevor stopped by the farmer's market and got like chips and pita bread. Uh oh, there's actually still water in here. I got water from the tank today and I was like, oh, that tastes a little bit off. I think it's time because I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I can't remember the last time we replaced the filter. So probably for sure overdue. <laughs> Was that enough? No, there's still more. All right, well, in that case, I am making ice. Ooh, I don't want this to fall. The tank fell the other day. I caught it, but a good amount of water spilled on the ground and down my shirt. So I'm like, let's not have a repeat of that. <laughs> Crap, there's still way more water. Like, I don't know what to do. I don't want to waste it, but I really want to replace this filter. Just realized I could pop it into the kettle. <laughs> it's gonna get boiled anyway, so it doesn't really matter. It's still not filtering out. I think best course of action is just lift this out. <laughs> and start fresh. But anyways, yesterday was such a long day. It was so much fun. Like Michelle and I were out together for hours and just like having a blast shooting and painting pottery. And oh my God, you guys, that restaurant that we tried, ho oh, ho ho, that's a new favorite for sure. But yeah, I was exhausted yesterday so I didn't get a chance to like recap everything for you guys. And I twist it in and filter. But anyway, starting out with pottery painting at Mud Hen and Clay. It's a really cute setup. It's definitely a lot more adult vibes than like Color Me Mine. But the thing is like there's less to select from as far as pieces to choose from to paint and then also the paint selection itself. But you know, like it's a small business. We've been wanting to try it out and support it. And we did have a great time. So the pieces that we got, my mug was 28 and then her little jewelry box was 23. And it's $15 per hour to paint. But when we went to go ring up, they didn't charge us. So I don't know if like the first hour is included 
because she and I finished painting within the first hour. But yeah, if someone wanted to go there again, I would totally be down. I think that that spot in particular would be really, really cute if you were gonna do like a bridesmaid proposal and you wanted to do something a little bit more special than just like a brunch or a lunch or something like that. Definitely a really cute idea. Also a cute date night idea. But we were saying we want a pottery paint again, but we'll probably do Color Me Mine next time just because of the bigger selection and everything. And then also Color Me Mine can be a little bit more cost effective. I know Mud Hen didn't charge us for the first hour, but at Color Me Mine, the selection of pieces is much broader. So I think it's like a bigger price range and they do charge you for the time. But Michelle said, cause she just did Color Me Mine with her family. That was $11 for two hours, which is a great deal. So probably would opt to do that again. But if like someone wanted a specific vibe, I still do recommend Mud Hen and Clay. But afterwards we went to Centro Storico Spaghetteria. Sp I, I don't know how to say that word. Anyways, that place was so good. Like Michelle and I are diehard Roma d'Italia fans whenever we're in Old Town Tustin, but I don't know. Storico could definitely give Roma a run for its money. I will say though, they are very, very different vibes. Storico is a little bit more modern rustic versus Roma d'Italia is definitely like more mom and pop, a little bit more old school. I would say that their Italian food is more of like the Sicilian vibes where it's like a little bit heavier, you know, it's like thicker marinara's, meat sauces, that kind of stuff versus Storico is a little bit more lighter. There's more of a focus on the fact that they make their noodles in house and stuff. And then also what's really nice about Storico is that they make gelato in house, which was so good we got the bomba dessert which is gelato inside of a chocolate shell and we got the spumoni which is like one of my favorite ice cream flavors so that was amazing also the appetizer that we got i think it's called the coccoli with prosciutto and some kind of like spreadable italian cheese you guys, it's so good. So Cocoli is fried dough dumplings, and oh my god, they were so good, like so crisp on the outside, and then just like nice and soft on the inside, and then you do the spreadable cheese and a piece of prosciutto, 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10, so good. And then for my dish, I got the carbonara, which I do have half of it left over, which I might have tonight, it just kind of depends on what the plans are, because it is St. Patrick's Day, but honestly, I don't feel like going out. If Trevor wants to go out, he can. I think it would like depend on the plans if I decide to join him. But yeah, I'm very much looking forward to my leftovers for the carbonara because the noodles, so, so good. You can definitely tell that they're made in house. They definitely taste very, very fresh. And then just like the carbonara itself. Oh my God, it was so good. Like the pancetta in this carbonara is like so perfectly crispy. I, I just, uh, it was just, it was probably one of the best carbonara dishes I've ever had. And then Michelle got a ziti dish that had like braised short rib in it. I tried one of her noodles and it was so, so good. Obviously I didn't have the short rib because I don't eat beef, but I wanted to like try one of the noodles with the sauce on it and it, it was amazing. Everything at Storico was so, so good. So if you are going to Tustin and you're looking for Italian food, I honestly have to recommend Storico because we just like absolutely loved it. And oh, also too, they had Italian sodas. Those were really good. Michelle got the raspberry and then I got the blackberry. Both were good. The blackberry was definitely a little bit lighter. So I feel like probably next time I would order the raspberry, but I think you can't go wrong with either. And then also if you don't want like a a full meal or anything they actually have a cafe attached to the restaurant so you can get like the gelato the coffee i think you can order like the italian soda there and you can get pastries and stuff at their cafe so yeah just like a cute little spot and we were both definitely so glad that we tried something new i don't know if i've ever looked forward to leftovers more than right now the pasta even on the second night was still amazing like so good and then for dessert i'm gonna have a couple of these trader joe's cookies and cream pretzel slims i have been looking for these for months i saw them come out like a while ago at Trader Joe's like on TikTok, but I could never find them in store and I finally found them. They're so good. They're the perfect mix of like salty and sweet. And like, I wasn't sure how I was gonna feel about like the cookies and cream around it, but. They're so good. It almost tastes like puppy chow, if you guys have ever had that. But before I close out the vlog, I kept forgetting to like explain the process with the pottery. So obviously we didn't take it home that day. They need to glaze them and fire them. They said it's gonna be about two weeks and I could just like call and find out when our pieces are done. So in a couple of weeks, I'm gonna go pick them up and then I'm gonna bring the shells for the next time that we shoot. But I'm really excited to see what they look like once they've been glazed and fired. So that'll definitely be something to look forward to. But I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here. Sorry, hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with us this weekend and I'll see you guys in the next one.